WFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Wednesday, the 14th of August. And this is the Tiger Financial News Network, 10 o'clock market update. We're looking at the Dow up 43 points at 39,808. Fabulous session yesterday. Actually, we've extended. It's really important that we extend it because that nine period moving average is still way under the uh, 14 period moving average. We need to see a cross positive for us to be able to get a buy mode. And we haven't got that yet. But it's been a very nice uh, move from 38,000. It's called 38,490 uh, Monday a week ago. And here we are testing 39,868 earlier on this morning. Looking at the S&P, a little bit weaker today. S&P is down 6.5 at 5428.37. It's getting into that Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone right there. We'll see if it's able over the next few days to go into the uh, 54 57, 54, 62 area. That's going to be a big uh, issue. Right now at 54.29, uh, it's not bad. Made a higher height in leg B. All, all these key indices have gone to leg Bs. I call them gray leg B. Haven't got a buy mode established yet. Leg B in the uh, QQQ down $1.45 or 461.07. Uh, yeah, it's doing well. And it's above the trend line resistance that we were talking about. So we'll see if that can last for the day. IWM Russell 2000 is trading uh, down a dollar fifty three now it's somewhat weaker so the small caps are not participating as well as the others it should but it's not to six point forty nine uh, it needs to get to two ten point fifty over the next I, I'd give it even until today's wins until Monday it can take but I don't want to see a break under two oh five looking at gold ha huh. Gold had a very nice move yesterday uh, the last couple of days then it went to the outside edge of this inside track Repellent zone, pullbacks down 13. It's going to be a big, big, big struggle to push above it. Looking at, um, let's go to crude oil. Crude oil is trading right now uh, down. It's had a couple of uh, weak sessions after hitting the 80 level. It's at 78.12, down 23 cents. And bonds is going to be something we have to focus on for the next few days because bonds up 19 and 32, uh, 30 seconds. Hey, that's good at 124.5 acting very well. So yields are coming down. I'll be back for the Tiger Ignitions Hour. Check out my opening call daily newsletter. See you in a few minutes.